I'm debating on whether or not I'm gonna burn some incense down here. Because a part of me is nervous about the smell. Amy, it should be fine. You've done this many times before. It's like 10 o'clock. I doubt that anybody's gonna be like, I smell pot, you know? You know, if they haven't smelled it before now and you did it during the day. Yeah, that's true. Oh my God. Those are my cookies. The ones that I've already made. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, I gotta go through this. Don't want any seeds, or stems. Just kidding, there aren't gonna be any seeds or stems in my fucking weed because my weed's good. There might be some stems, you know, for obvious reasons. But there aren't gonna be any seeds in here. Like, the more seeds and stems you get, the worse your weed's gonna be, you know? Dude, I used to smoke so much weed. Like, I didn't, I didn't care, like, what kind it was. Like, I bought really good weed, and I bought really shitty weed. I bought, I bought mids. That's what they call them, middies. Not like midi cables, but mid-grade marijuana. The thing is though, like if you smoke that shit out of a gravity bong or like you smoke enough of it via blunt, like, I mean, it's still gonna get you high. Like, that's why I don't really discriminate. Like, I mean, I only buy good weed now because I just like having like the best weed in my cookies so I can say that shit. But I mean, it's also, I mean, it's, it's, your high is gonna be better. But, my God, I, I really, I really don't discriminate though. I mean, like, if somebody gave me, like, a cookie and it was made with, like, mids, I wouldn't be like, well, I'm not going to eat this, you know? Because I'm not that much of a fuck cunt. Like, especially if, like, somebody's going to, like, just give me something, like, why would I, like, be particular about what it is, you know? If it's just being handed to me so very generously. I think my friend Jesse is like a total weed snob, and I remember the first time I like smoked her out with like mids. She was just like, I don't feel anything. And I was like, fuck you, bitch. You just tell yourself that because you're a snob. I mean, I guess I understand. You know, when I will listen to Florence and the Machine, I don't feel anything either, so it's fine. Um. <laughs> You notice that I like to bitch about the same things over and over and over again. I really hate that about myself. I really wish that I could let some of this stuff go, but I can't. Because there are so many people that are like allowed to keep making music that aren't very good at it. Just like... Michael Bay is still a director, you guys. The Bachelor is still on. Like, if that lets you know how stupid America is. It gets crazy, though, that show's still on. You know? It's crazy. Yeah, but so, this really is the best way to get the most for your money is to like cook with it. Now granted, you'll probably have to buy a lot of it if you want, you know, to have good can of butter, but. Like, I don't know why people just use like a quarter of weed. Like dude, like your, your stuff ain't gonna be as good. Let's just see what happens here.
This stuff kind of smells like potpourri in a way. But like really good weedy potpourri. Don't get your hair all up in it. Shit. <laughs> Shit. So I'm trying to do shit to entice people to come out to my house. Think this is doing it? Oh yeah, look at that, babies, look at that. Don't you want some of that in your cookie? See, I totally would, like, go out to somebody's house, like, if they were doing some crazy-ass comedy thing, like, and they told me they were gonna give me drugs, like, fuck yeah, I'd go. <sighs> people don't know how to have an experience. They know how to have something that they think other people have. Like, yeah, I'll, I'll go to a, a bar and hang out, talk. Maybe I'll do some comedy, maybe I'll I do an open mic. I'm sure it's like this with musicians, like any fucking art form, like how competitive it is. You know, like my last boyfriend was like, well, I mean, he's still really, he's a really awesome guitar player. But like, you know, I, I, I went with him to like this, um, I don't know what to call it. Like, it's a bar, but it's like a restaurant. It's like a, just a place for a bunch of, like, rich people to, like, go and, like, pretend that they're cool, basically. Um, but he performed, like, like an open mic type thing, and... God, it was so bad. I mean, he was great, but it was like everybody else just like, no, nobody cared. Nobody was paying attention. They were just talking and drinking and carrying on about their pointless lives. I just, I didn't think I would be like one of those people that could make something, you know? Like, the majority of humanity doesn't contribute anything to society. Maybe they have kids. Like, this is the dream in America, to, like, make babies. Um, but I'm not going to be doing that. So, I have to make art. Like, I never thought that I, that would be possible for me. Like, where I just, like, find something that just felt right. And that I, I was comfortable within myself doing that thing. But comedy really is it. And even if it ain't like comedy specifically, it's just like because of the comedic turn that my life has taken, like I'm confident that I can do anything with it. So that's good, right? That's good. Like I'm so lucky for that. And it's like, I'm that person that people are jealous of. That's so cool. Fuck you, bitches. How does it feel to be on the flip side? For me, it feels pretty fucking good. Because I've been, like, jealous my whole life of, like, people that just seem like they had it together. People that just seem like they had it all figured out, you know? And they're so much more attractive than me. I don't know. I know life is hard for anyone and everyone, um, but it's especially hard if you have the disorder that I have. So just keep that in mind. If, if you relate to anything that I say, you're probably quite borderline, and that means that a lot of things will be excruciating, such as roots, <laughs> rites of passages, which could be called roots of passages. Like, what, what's the underlying reason why we do this? 
you know. <laughs> Think you got all the stems? I hope so. Oop, there's one right there. Oh no. Yeah, we're just tossing them into the sink. But yeah, quiet borderline is, is a rough one. It's rough like PTSD. Well, you have PTSD because of the borderline, though. It's not like you specifically have PTSD. You have. It's just like OCD. Like, you have OCD because of the borderline. A lot of these things are, like, connected, you know? And a lot of people might be like, well, wh why would you want people to, like, see you that way? Like, why do you want to label yourself? I'm like, well, people are going to label me. You know how many people call me crazy? They're all black. That's fine. They acknowledge the truth about me. I ain't crazy. Shit, girl, you crazy. They always say that shit. Almost immediately upon meeting me. It's white people that got a problem with it. They're like, ah, don't say that. You're not, you're not crazy. You don't have a mental illness. Stop, stop being sad, drink. Stop it, stop it. Don't talk about suicide, stop it. You stop it, Amy! You're not mentally ill. Like, you really want to argue with a crazy bitch? Or you really want to argue with a bitch who claims that she's crazy? What the fuck is wrong with you, homie? Shit. Like, why is it other people can label us, we can't label ourselves? See, if I told you I'm, I'm an alcoholic, you'd be like... Like, are, don't you think that you're, you're taking it a little too seriously? Don't you think... Like, maybe... Maybe you should slow down. Maybe you just don't don't stop completely. I love it how other people that don't even know me and they, they haven't even seen me drink. They, they like to tell me about how I don't know what I'm talking about. Just like people that don't even know me like to tell me I don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to my depression and my anxiety and my mental illness that I've known about since I was two. Um, it's bullshit, man. Okay, you gotta put that in the oven. God damn it. Yes, I do. How long? 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Put another one in. That one's a little bigger. That one will work better. All right. I love you, weed. I love you so much. Ow, that was a mistake. Here, here. There you go. Just don't drop it, okay? minutes so that's it's 10 35 45 55 11 11 15 <laughs> oh my god that's right I'm not very good at math kiss my ass so we're not gonna turn these into weed lace brownies but I'm really excited to make these. I kind of like want to make these tonight. Is that silly? Well, you might as well. You're going to be down in the kitchen and, uh, you know, you're cooking. Multitask, baby. Then you can empty the dishwasher and eat a sandwich and play piano all at the same time. I'm so much better at multitasking than like anything else. Okay, so we're about to put all these sticks of butter into the crock pot. Yeah, my mom gave me this crock pot. 
And like I told her what we were gonna do with it. Cause she asked me what I was gonna use it for and I was like, it's in the name, mom. Crock pot. <laughs> I still didn't get it. <laughs> Poor gal. But like, this past Christmas, like, I know for my birthday too, like my parents just got me like all this like cooking stuff, which I just found amusing considering what I'm doing now. Um, I think you should make some coffee. God, oh man. So you don't have to work tomorrow. Why not? Why not drink some fuck out? Why not? <laughs> okay, okay. How we should have gotten more coffee at the grocery. Smell that. Smells like 12 step recovery right there, buddy. Welcome to Folgers. It's like, it smells so bad that it's good. Oh shit, we still have superfood, y'all. This stuff is like $30. But we were convinced that we were gonna die of anorexia, and so we bought this stuff. I think you were convinced you were gonna die anyway. Like, whether it was like anorexia, or cancer, or emphysema, or just, you know, generalized death. y'all that could be something so yeah we gotta cook this stuff until well well see that's why I want to make coffee all right because like we woke up like early today like for us it's early we had to wake up at like 10.30. But see, the thing is, I don't know, I've gotten myself into this routine where like, if I know that I have to work at a certain time, like I will like wake myself up. So like, when I say like I oversleep, what that means is I had anxiety, like really bad anxiety, and was like, you know, fuck this, I'm going back to bed. <laughs> well, I mean, sometimes, like, I haven't heard my alarm. Like, I sleep straight through my alarms. Like, my mom will, like, she, when I was younger, and uh, she had to wake me up for school because, like, I'd set my alarm, and my alarm would be going off for, like, an hour and a half before I'd hear it, for like, my brain would be like, oh, it's time to get up, it's time to get up, it's time to get up, it's time. Um, but yeah, I really hate waking up. <laughs> um, even more than I hate waking up, I hate waking up in the morning. Oh my gosh, you smell that? You wish you could, Vortex. It smells so good. Oh my god. So you're more like, like feeling it. That's why I want to stay down here. <laughs> so like, don't go upstairs, don't waste this. You can get super high from the fiends. Why the fuck don't you want to do that? That's free. See, that's like, if you make edibles, like you really work hard for your drugs, you know? Like, cause this is a process, y'all. It's a very long process and it's not hard, but you know, it's, it's a long process. It seems expensive, but it's not. It's totally worth it. I can't believe I didn't do this shit sooner. Like, I was waiting for somebody to show me. I was like, why don't you just do it yourself? And so, like, I used, like, mediocre weed. Like, I used some weed that my dealer gave me that, like, he gave me a deal on it because he said it wasn't as good as, like, the stuff that I usually get. And I was like, well, fuck it. Like, why don't I just test this out and see if I can make it